Hi guys, welcome back to Eduvet channel. This is the second part of Streptococcus video. We'll be dealing with the toxins and virulent factors of Streptococcus. So for seeing the first video, I'll be giving the link in the description. So mainly the toxins are erythrogenic toxins. They are also recorded by Streptococcal pyrogenic toxins or they are exotoxins actually. So they'll be producing many erythematous like lesions and be produced by Streptococcus pyrogenes. So the scarlet fever is actually due to the toxin which is called as erythematous toxin or the dick toxin and I have given the test to find the scarlet fever called the dick test or the erythematous skin lesion test. So these are the how to spot the scarlet fever. So toxins we are moving to the toxins. Actually, streptolysin O that is actually a cardiotoxic activity. It has got cardiotoxic activity and it is oxygen labile that is oxygen can break the toxin second one is streptolysin s that is oxygen stable this was compared in many exams like which was oxygen stable which was oxygen labile etc and streptolysin s is actually the beta hemolysin it causes the lysis of rbc the third one is erythrogenic toxin that is it is producing generating erythrema that is why erythrogenic the dick toxin the intradermal injection of this toxin in rats lead to the development of erythrema that is actually the deepest and also uh, in human beings it is conducted. That is the streptococcus causing glanders in equines and the uh, infections found in them. So the toxins next streptokinase that is the fibrinolysin that will be breaking the fibrin. So it is actually it has got a a very good role in spread of infection. They will be breaking the fibrinous coating around the bacteria and they will be having a propulsive action throughout the body, facilitating the spread of infection. Next one is the deoxyribonucleases, that is streptodornis. They cause, whenever they release deoxyribonucleases, the human or the animal or the host cell DNA will be broken up. Next one is the hyaluronidase, which breaks hyaluronic acid of the tissues and cause it's also called as a spreading factor in some species. Next one is proteinases that will be they will be breaking the effective or the uh, very important proteins needed for the cell function they will be breaking it. Neuraminidase is the neuraminidic acid breakings actually they are found in the virus. NADase is breaking the NAD. Estraces, amylases and n acetyl glucosaminidases. Now the 11th one is which is a very important factor the serum opacity factor. When group A streptococci, that is you can see the Lanchfield classification, is grown in a host serum, it produces the opalescence of the serum. This is actually due to breaking of the breaking down of the lipoproteins. They will produce a opacity like appearance. Thank you.